Hello everyone, my name is Tony Pelleggi, one of the uh, instructors for Engines here at Centennial College Motor Power Program. I have my colleague here, Mr. Fihad, who's my cameraman, he's going to help me out. And this video is part one of how to degree a camshaft. So, um, some basics uh, which you probably um, already know or are going to soon to know through your theory class on why we degree a camshaft. Uh, when you purchase uh, a camshaft, uh, it will have a, a cam card inside there. And that cam card will give us uh, some information as to uh, lift, duration, and, um, uh, and with this information, uh, we have this, what we call a degree wheel, and we're gonna vi verify the specs on that cam card with this degree wheel. And the degree wheel gets bolted to the crankshaft here. And if I just bring this up close here, uh, right here, it shows top dead center at zero degrees. And obviously down the bottom at 180 will be bottom dead center, okay? And we also have areas here general areas where the intake and exhaust valves open and close. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to bring our piston up to top of the center, which I've already done, but I'm just going to show you here. So we're working on number one cylinder, and it doesn't matter which cylinder you work on, um, but we're working on number one. That's at top dead center. Is it exactly at top dead center? No. But what I need to do now is mount my degree wheel so my pointer here can reach top dead center down there. And in this case here, I'm a little off. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to loosen the crankshaft bolt. And I'm going to bring it up so we're close to top dead center with this pointer. Okay. Now, once that is at top dead center, I'm just going to rotate this LS engine clockwise as it should. And I'm going to bring the piston down a bit. And the purpose of this is to I need to find what we call true top dead center. So this is what happens. The piston comes up the top dead center. The crankshaft is still turning, but we have maybe three to five degrees where the crankshaft is turning and the piston is not. And then it starts to go towards bottom dead center. So we need to find that true top dead center right in the middle of whatever, how many degrees this camshaft is set up to be. And we have what we call here, we are gonna need something called a piston stop. And a piston stop is, we're gonna roll that piston down. I have this bolt threaded in here, and it really doesn't matter how far I thread this bolt in, whether it's in half an inch or a full inch, it makes no difference. And as I go through it, you'll see why. So I'm going to bolt this onto the, the block here. So our piston stock is in. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to rotate this engine, and it doesn't matter which way I start. I'm going to go clockwise, and I'm watching the piston here. It's starting to come up the top dead center. And as soon as I hit that piston stop, I'm going to stop right there. 
when I stop there, I'm looking at my degree wheel, and there's top dead center there. I am at 10, 11, 12, about 12 and a half degrees after top dead center. So what I've done, I've come up with the piston and I'm stopped. Now I'm gonna rotate it back the other way and come up and hit that piston stop again and see where we end up here. So here we go. Now, when we're back, piston went down, piston has come up and I'm touching top dead center right there. Now, as you see here, I was about 12 and a half degrees on the one side of top dead center. I am now 21, 20, about 24 degrees on the opposite side of top dead center. And if I add those two figures up and divide it by so two, I rotated the engine one way, came up on the piston stop, and we were at roughly 12 and a half degrees. I'm going to call it 12 degrees just for, um, for this video. I rolled it back, rotated back the engine the other way, I'm at 24. So I'm going to take these two numbers, the 24 and the 12, add them together as 36. If we divide that by 2, I end up with 18. So now I want to move my pointer to 18 degrees. Now, this is just a makeshift pointer. It doesn't have to be high tech. I just want to get it in there so it's... So now I'm at 18 degrees. So now if I rotate this back the other way, I should end up, when my piston comes up, I should be at 18 degrees, which I am on both sides. So let me show you that again. I've rotated, I'm at 18 degrees there, I'm coming back the other way, and I'm 18 degrees on the other side of top dead center. So my first rotation, I was 18 degrees here, now I'm 18 degrees on the other side of top dead center. What that means is, when I take this piston stall out, Now that I've removed my piston stop, when this degree wheel lines up with zero there at top dead center, I am at true top dead center. I am right in the middle of when that piston comes up, stops turning, crankshaft still turning, and the piston coming down. So let's say for instance, the crankshaft turned four degrees from top dead center to roll to bring it back down the bottom dead center. I'm right in the middle of that four degrees. So we call this true top dead center. Once that is set up, we never have to find that out again unless we someone moves the degree wheel, loosens it, or someone moves into the um, uh, the point. But once that is set up, we're good to go to the next step to actually degree the crane. So this is this is a, this is a crucial part of it. Um, and like I said, it doesn't matter which cylinder we do. It doesn't matter which valve we do. Once we set up, we've set up cylinder one. So we will check both intake and exhaust uh, profiles on this camshaft uh, for number one because that's where we've set number one up to. Okay. Thank you.